Right. We are finally making power, even though that thing is tracking like crazy, because we are getting some terribly, terribly, I don't know, dirty wind, man. Look at it. Oh, he smokes back and forth, back and forth. I gotta get that thing up another 20 feet at least. But there it goes, it's ripping. See a track, wow. And even with it tracking that much, and you can see the sun, I got the, these panels are uncovered. These are totally covered still, because I have nothing, nothing to uncover them with. And a shovel, I can't reach the center, so. Ah, uh, it's a pain. Sorry, tripping on the wire here. Let's go into the power room here. <sighs> All right, so, what are we currently making here? 314, 350, this is, Wind. So it looks like my wind curve is pretty good considering the dirty wind we're getting. So 300 and some odd watts. I've seen over 400. Solar, we're getting even more. We're getting almost 700 watts. So, yeah, we're doing, doing all right. We might get full charge today, which is crazy. I'm gonna have to watch that because if we get full charge, apparently this doesn't stop charging. It'll just keep charging my battery. So, we'll keep watching. But it should be fine anyways because all these BMS have a cutoff voltage, an over voltage cutoff, which is like 68 volts or something. So it's two volts higher than I normally charge to. But look at that, guys. I'm actually making some half decent usable power from wind. And this would be really nice if this went through the night like this because that's when this is actually worth something. When you're making this kind of power at night, I don't really care during the day because I got solar. But at night, it'd be nice. But we're not making a ton of power from solar today either. But I'll tell you, I'll take. Anything I can get this time of year. Uh, let's go take a look at this one more time. Just give you guys an idea of what I'm getting here. You saw it tracking, how bad it's tracking all over the place, but. Doing all right. Bouncing like crazy, but we're doing a lot better. Looks like I can use this for a wind turbine, and I'm gonna give it, I'm gonna go through January, February, March, because that's when we get some good winds, and uh, see how that goes. Everything's been completely bulletproof, fine with the lithium batteries, the gel batteries have been doing just fine, absolutely nothing wrong with them. Everything's just, just working along as it should. Reliable's doing good. Uh, Man sine wave is doing good too. I use that once in a while. It's pretty, I just use it to, I don't know, to use it. Make sure it doesn't go bad just sitting there. But uh, this hardware and the breaker is going to be going in sometime this week. So then I actually might start using this system. I'm going to try it on the lithium batteries as well, see what we get. But here we go, I'm making some power again. So sporadic. If I only could get this higher in the air, I'm sure I'd be making well over 400 watts. Continuous, too. But it's about 12 o'clock, and we've made it only got windy at about 10. So, in the last two hours, we've made 0.3 of a kilowatt. So, we're looking at about a, I don't know, 150 watts per hour. So, that's not too bad. Thanks for watching, guys. Might do a time lapse to show you guys uh, how my day's been. Well, guys, first windy day I've had. This is like, we were getting something like uh, 32 kilometer winds with 57 kilometer gusts. And uh, I'm seeing averages of 200, 250 watts to 500 watts right now. And it's only supposed to get windier. So, yeah. It's ripping. 
I put these uh, braces on it. They're actually making it uh, a little clunking sound, those braces, the way I got them mounted, but they are holding it more stable, so when it stops uh, when it stops spinning a day or two from now, I'm gonna figure out what that sound is. But for now, it is making a, well, not a ton of power, but I'll show you. Yeah, it's pretty windy. Just uh, uncovering the snow off the panels. These ones are just covered. Just uncovered those. There we got a snow plow. The only problem is it is still tracking pretty bad, as you can see. We're getting some serious gusts. Oh, see, there you go. It's, uh, we'd definitely be making a lot more power if it was up higher. But anyways, I'm gonna finish cleaning these off. Alright, so, the winds have died down a little, little bit. So we're not really getting a whole lot anymore. Before I was getting about 150 to 400 with the gusts. But of course, coming here, we're not getting it. I'm also going to try uh, a different wind curve I have uh, in my memory on this thing today sometime. I uncovered almost all my panels. I broke my snow remover that I was using so I won't be able to uncover the rest until I buy a, a, a roof rake. But uh, yeah, that's what we got going guys. Oh, will this focus? There we go. Oh, it's glare, that's why I wasn't focusing. Anyways, I'm gonna come back out when it's making power again. Cause right now it's not making much. All right, so, wind so far today, 0.7 of a kilowatt and still going solar today. 4.6 kilowatts and 19 watts almost completely done. It's supposed to get windier later, so this will kick in again. It, it, the, the winds have died down and we're still getting, still getting some, some power here and there, like that, but, uh, like I said, the winds have died down, but it's going to get windier again. Do another bit of 50 kilometer gusts. So, it's still making power though. Anyways, got my LiPo power box here charging off the main system because we're going up, up north and uh, I need this charged because well, you'll see. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna ruin the surprise yet. I got the Mr. Heater Buddy heat in the room. Just want to get these a little bit warm <coughs> while they're charging. They're not too bad. They're not that cold. They're cold, but they're not that cold. And just so you guys know, they have not puffed yet. And these are massive lipo lipo pouches. These are 18650s. Lipo, 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 lipo. And they've been doing great. They're all more than two years old now. At least the the batteries themselves from when they're manufactured. <coughs> yeah. So hopefully this holds us till morning. We did get up to 64 volts today. This one says 64.4 and this one says 63.8. That is a voltage difference because I have that uh, charge controller on these batteries and I have that charge controller on these batteries and they're all hooked up centrally to the inverter but there's losses in the lines <coughs> difference in voltage and this is still charging where this is not plus I do believe that this one is just off a little bit on voltage because I'm 90% sure that the power difference isn't that much and I'm gonna check with a multimeter but uh, yeah everything else is working great on the system can't wait to add these batteries. See if I get some time next week. Anyways, thanks for watching. We're charging these batteries at 30 or 347 watts.
not bad. Thanks for watching.